So Shakira Stevenson comes out and reveals that um, Oscar De La Hoya is basically um, frustrated right now with the whole situation that uh, he basically will not be signing with him. Uh, from what the information I got, Shakira Stevenson is not interested in uh, signing with Oscar De La Hoya just for a Williams to pay the fight. Um, doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I've heard a lot of people say that. Um, to be honest with you, when you're the mandatory already, I think that's why a lot of people handed down the mandatory. I think that's why the sanction of body handed down the mandatory, just because they know that um, that fight isn't going to get done unless it's a mandatory or some kind of deal is getting done. So around the time the Oscar said that, that's basically what's um, been put in place. Now, he does have to understand that Shakir Stevenson has a lot of options to sign with different people. And he has to also understand that just 12 months ago, Ryan Garcia was trying to get away from Oscar De La Hoya. So you got to keep that in mind. The only difference between Oscar De La Hoya and Ryan Garcia right now is, is that Devin Haney lost to the, in the fight that they had. That's now a no contest. But other than that, the relationship hasn't really changed as far as them getting better or worse from what I've seen. The only thing I know is they've won. I've still seen guys leave Golden Boy, top rank. So it's not like this is anything new when it comes to Shakira Stevenson avoiding Golden Boy or um, leaving Golden Boy or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Guys, if, they was, if you was to go to Golden Boy and leave, It'll be the same situation as top rank. So, in my mind, it, it's not gonna happen. He's already confirmed that it won't. Uh, that uh, that he won't be signing with Golden Boy, but it's not confirmed. Confirmed all the way as far as paying the pad, sign with someone else. So it still could be an option if everything goes bad. But it's definitely not uh, a top option right now for him to sign there. Just because, like, a lot of fighters that he does know haven't had any good relationship with Golden Boy. Um, Golden Boy is basically, I'm just going to be real, uh, a place where they push Hispanic and Latino fighters. They don't really have a great mix like that. Yeah, they have guys like Floyd Schofield and everything else, but he's a young guy. Um, Harold Davies was a new guy. I don't even know if he's still going to be around after the loss he took. Uh, so... A lot of fighters they have, it's just they fit that description. It is what it is. But um, it's not like uh, Shakir Stevens is just going to fit in right over there. Doesn't make a lot of sense. But Oscar knows that the talent that he has. That's why if you look at it, he's looking at Williams Zapata as an investment instead of a top-tier elite boxer. That's why he's like, well, if Shakur Stevenson signs over here, yeah, I'll give up Zapata. That's an investment that you're afraid to lose or walk away from, which is fine by your standards. But overall, um, I don't feel like none of these guys are really at that level to the point where anybody should have to sign to them to actually get a fight. That's something new. But for um, Austin De La Hoya to say that, he feels like him getting Shakur Stevenson would be the end all be all. It would raise his stakes and he would be able to do whatever he wants as far as putting certain fights together. Now, if he had Shakur Stevenson on his squad, he wouldn't be telling guys, hey, man, you got to sign over here to fight Shakur Stevenson. See, he wouldn't do that because he's not worried about Shakur Stevenson taking a loss. Now, he's worried about Williams Zapata taking a loss because he's like, ah. Uh, he signed over here. I mean, if uh, Chris Stevenson don't sign over here and he beats Cepeda, I'm not going to have anything. I'm just going to have a, a, a guy I lost out on the investment with. But that's happened a couple of times, though. You know what I'm saying? You got other fighters that feel like they were put in weird positions. And a lot of those guys almost lost when being put in those positions. Like Barbosa, I know Duarte took a loss recently. So, yeah, you got a lot of risky fights or risky situations happening around there. So, if you're Shakira Stevenson, you want to be put in place to where you know you're going to fight on the regular. You're not going to be arguing with your promoter back and forth online, 
which Oscar's done. Um, just a lot of stuff that's not really mature. That's why I'm confused by why the dude, why he was even on the call with Ryan Garcia. Now, if you're on the call with Ryan Garcia and y'all friends and you chilling, so why you don't feel comfortable with signing on Golden Boy? I mean, it's, it seems like the people over there are the only ones who will go publicly about actually supporting you or you supporting them or communicating with them. So they the ones who communicate with you publicly. So I would figure that he would have a more of an admiration for um, Golden Boy since he was looking for some kind of uh, public appreciation from uh, the fans, which I don't understand overall, but because you already know what time it is. If you don't, you're going to figure out soon because a lot of these people were saying that Golden Boy was trash last year. And I was the one that said Golden Boy was going to have a marquee year this year. Nobody did. Nobody thought that Golden Boy was going to have a good year. Even people that picked Mar Ryan Garcia to win, they still didn't look at the landscape and see that Zerto Ramirez, uh, Zapata, uh, you can still throw Barbosa and other guys in there, Jose Ramirez. But then you got the Ryan Garcia when he came out to performance. So a lot of people didn't see that coming. So it's a lot of things that's going on in Boston right now where guys are just coming up with different ideas, throwing anything out there, and I just can't participate in that. I'll put the information out there, but to be out here just making up all kind of excuses why guys ain't fighting, bro, this the fight game, man. Right now they're going to use all their energy fans pushing to, put, to make a fight. And they were doing that, like, before Terrence Crawford and Spencer were even negotiating. So, this been going on for about three or four years now. And I I just can't participate in that. It's old news. My thing is, in boxing, I feel like most what most of these fans do, if they can't talk about new news, they talk about old news, which is all they talk about, the old news and fights that, fantasy fights. And I just can't talk about fantasy fights all day. There's too many real fights happening. If we got to talk about fantasy fights, then that sounds like that the whole situation with Turkey out of sheet is turning out the way that people thought it would. It's turning out the way I knew it would because the two the faces of boxing aren't fighting with uh, Turkey Allen Sheet. And it seems like, to me, the only fights that people care about is the ones that include the faces of boxing. But uh, that's all I got. Like and subscribe.